Hey guys, it's Lego Boy Z3. Today I'm going to show you how to do five patterns on the Pyraminx. And so I have these five Pyraminx patterns here, and today I'm going to show you how to do each of them. And so for each of them, I have an algorithm, which is pretty much just a sequence of moves that you do to get to a certain state. And so if you don't already know basic notation, which is pretty much how you move the cube during an algorithm, then go ahead and click the link in the description or up on screen here, and that will teach you what all those letters mean. And so if at any point during this video you want to skip to any of these patterns, there'll be a little annotation on screen over it. So just click on that and it'll bring you to the point in the video, or you can look at the time codes down in the description, and I'll also have all the algorithms in the description. So first up we have the normal checker pattern, and so what this pattern does is it switches some of the colors on these two faces and these two faces, and in order to do this pattern and the next pattern, you'll have to take off the tips of your pyraminx. And so if you're not comfortable doing this, I would not recommend doing this pattern. And just note that on most newer pyraminxes, it will be much harder to take off the tips because they'll come apart in three pieces, and so just be aware of that. And so what you want to do is you want to identify the two colors that you want to be put together, and so in my case I like blue and green. And so we'll put those two in the back. And what you do is U, L, U, R prime, B, L prime, U, R, B prime. And now what you do is you take the two tips that are on the top and in the back, and you take both of those off, just like this. So you turn it 45 degrees and pop it off. It'll be a little bit different on some pyraminxes, but in my case, this is how you do it. And you switch those two around like this. You may have to experiment until you get it right and then it will look correct and you can do the same thing on the other two remaining tips just like that and there we go now we've completed the checker pattern on the pyraminx and so the next pattern is an alternate checker pattern so you see here it has these three colors are checkered and this color is just all alone on the bottom and so if you don't like a particular color on your pyraminx in this case blue you can just hide that on the bottom and just checker these three colors. And so what you want to do to make this pattern is you want to identify the color that you don't want. I'll just use blue again. Put that on the bottom and then do this algorithm. U, R, L prime, B, U prime, B prime, R, L, R, U. And then what you want to do is take off this tip, move it over to the next one. And so just make sure that's right. Yeah, it looks like it. And then take off this tip and move it over to the next one, and then move that one onto that. So pretty much you just want to cycle them all in around until it looks correct like this. For the next pattern, you will not need to take off the tips. Same thing goes with all three of these. This one is the super flip. And so basically what this is, is all edges on the cube are just flipped, and these corners are also all just twisted once. And so this algorithm is probably the easiest one to remember. You hold it in any orientation, do R, L prime, U. R, L prime, U, R, L prime, U. And then you can do R, U, L, B on the tips. And there we go. That one was pretty easy. Next one, I call this one the swirl. Basically, all the colors kind of swirl around in a circle like this on every face. It looks a lot cooler if you look at it one face at a time, but it still does look pretty cool like this. And so what you want to do for this one is hold it in any orientation. Do U, R, U, R prime, U, L prime, R prime, L prime, U prime, L, B prime. And there we go, it's as simple as that. You now have the pattern. And then finally we have this pattern. So pretty much on every side you have kind of an outline of one single color, and then you have the three other colors in the middle. So what you do for this one is U, R, L prime, U prime, R, L, B, U prime, L prime, B, and then you turn all the tips, so U, L, R, B, just like that, and now you have the pattern. And so actually that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you do all five of these patterns. They're actually pretty cool patterns. I haven't seen anyone do either of these two before, and I have previously made videos on these two, but I just wanted to combine all of them into one. And so there it was. If it was helpful, then go ahead and leave a like down below. If you needed help with any of these, then leave a comment down below, and be sure to check out my notation video down in the description if you need any help with that. If you have any suggestions for any videos that I can make like this in the future, then leave some suggestions down in the comments below, and also stay subscribed and notified for the next video like this comes out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!